So I was on this Reddit thread the other day about ever notice how accepted it is that we are constantly being spied on? And there was this user, Fife Guy, who said, if the government were found to be tracking people's position, shopping habits, preferences, etc., it would be taken badly as an affront on liberty. Check out LifeLog, created by DARPA. But if they agree to give it to us because they don't read the terms and conditions, like Facebook, interesting that Facebook began the day LifeLog ended. By the way, Facebook, like most tech startups, are funded by CIA front agencies. Interesting stuff. Well, if you watch the corporate report, you'll know that, yes, the uh, Facebook, as well as other social media entities, but Facebook certainly has some shady roots with shady people uh, and connections back to InQtel, the CIA's venture capital firm. So you already know about that, but maybe you don't know about LifeLog, the DARPA project that began the day that fa- or that ended the day Facebook began? Really? Is that true? Well, I, myself, have to admit, this is new to me. I'd never heard of LifeLog before, so I went looking it up, and sure enough, it turns out there was something called LifeLog that was a DARPA project that was announced back in late 2003 and was cancelled, or was announced as being cancelled, on February 4th, 2004, in this Wired article, Pentagon Kills LifeLog Project. And it says that the Pentagon cancelled its so-called LifeLog project, an ambitious effort to build a database tracking a person's entire existence. Run by DARPA, the the Defense Department's research arm, LifeLog aimed to gather in a single place just about everything an individual says, sees, or does. The phone calls made, the TV shows watched, the magazines read, the plane tickets bought, the email sent and received. Out of this seemingly endless ocean of information... Computer scientists would plot distinctive roots in the data, mapping relationships, memories, events, and experiences. So essentially, this life log was going to be an all-encompassing diary that would have a near-perfect digital memory of not just everything you do, but where you do it, and who you do it with, and at what times. And uh, it would be this list, but not just a list. It would be itemized. It would be broken into episodes so that you could see that, oh, this event started here, and then you went there, and then it was completed here. And it would do all of this automatically. It would be following you around, recording everything you're doing and every interaction you're having. Uh, Pretty incredible and incredibly creepy stuff. But don't worry, guys. It was all canceled on February 4th, 2004, or at least that's when it was announced cancelled by Wired. And just out of curiosity, is it true? Is that the day that Facebook was founded? Well, according to the Bastion of Truthiness Wikipedia, it is anyway. February 4th, 2004, the website for Facebook was launched by Mark Zuckerberg. And uh, Wiki provides a a link to an article that, that sources that. So, Apparently it is true, although when you actually dig through and uh, you find that, well, actually the program was cancelled in late January of 2004. So it was cancelled a couple weeks before it was announced cancelled by Wired. It wasn't literally the same day, guys, don't worry. But it is just a coincidence, likely, but still a telling one. Because can you think of an application of, a, of a, a platform, of a social media tool that is anything more like this life log idea that the Pentagon and DARPA was looking for than Facebook itself, where you yourself are recording, if not every single interaction that you have with everybody everywhere, at least a good portion of them, and you yourself are tagging all of these other people for, uh, you know, for the good of the the, the interested onlookers, uh, so that they know who you were interacting with and where and at what times, and they're broken into episodes and you can see the different parts of your life, the timeline. Well, this is essentially the life log idea, but it's you yourself who are doing it and uploading it to, uh, to these servers. And we know Facebook likes to give the information out, out behind back doors, and we know it doesn't even matter if they didn't, because, of course, the, uh, the NSA and uh, other alphabet supers are tapping the very trunk lines of the internet, so they have it all anyway. Well... If you want more information about this life log idea, you can go to the actual request for proposal that DARPA had up on their website back at the time. 
and it was looking to uh, to make a decision by May 7th, 2004. Obviously, that got called off when it started to get a little bit too much attention in the press. But uh, you can go and read through how uh, the, uh, the idea of what they were looking for and uh, how there was going to be all sorts of different sensors and things to try get all this different data that people are going through in their uh, their life, and then sorting and producing a timeline that const- constitutes an episodic memory for the individual. It's a very detailed, very creepy proposal. I mean, there's no way that you can read this without being creeped out, thinking the military is looking for this technology. Um, Perhaps for a little comedic relief, you can find that uh, actually pr- uh, people who were fulfilling the proposal had to submit the proposal via floppy disk. <laughs> two copies, two separate floppy disks. <laughs> so there you go. That's uh, a sign of the times. But anyway, this is the proposal, and uh, this is what they were looking for. And it should sound pretty chillingly familiar um, in its broad outline to what we already know about the Total Information Awareness Office, which I've talked about a number of times, perhaps most notably in the uh, Five Privacies You Didn't Know You Lost episode of the Corbett Report. But yes, the one with the creepy Illuminati pyramid in, uh, radiating the globe image. <laughs> uh, just totally nothing to, nothing to worry about here, guys. Anyway, this should bring uh, bring to mind also some other things we've talked about in the past, like Big New Brzezinski's Between Two Ages. Soon it will be possible to assert almost continuous surveillance over every citizen and maintain up-to-date complete files containing even the most personal information about the citizen. These files will be subject to instantaneous retrieval by the authorities. In the technotronic society, the trend would seem to be towards the aggregation of the individual support of millions of uncoordinated citizens, easily within the reach of magnetic and attractive personalities, exploiting the latest communications techniques to manipulate emotions and control reason. So there you have it, guys. The day LifeLog was announced dead was the day that Facebook launched. And the idea rolls on and think about how much closer we are to that life log idea coming to full fruition 14 years later than we were back when we were all so innocent at that time when Facebook was just being launched or so we would like to believe. Anyway, there's a lot to dig into. So I hope you guys will continue researching about life log and its various analogs in the different programs that have been suggested and quote unquote scrapped by DARPA like the Total Information Awareness Office, which we know just went underground and became the whole PRISM grid network. So uh, it all of this moves on just under different names, and they don't tend to announce it quite as openly anymore, but there's a lot to dig into. Hope you guys will be there to dig into it with me. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com. <laughs>